Hey Advancelet, I just wanted to give you a quick little uh, refresher if you decide that you're going to work on your uh, literary analysis for a jury of her peers over break. So you have a little tutorial to go back to. Okay, so remember your outline um, is going to be due on April 6th. So you need to make sure that you have that. I want to look at it before you start writing and it's 20 points. So I just want to make sure that you're on the right track and you know where you're going, okay? So your essay is actually going to be due on April 12. So that'll give us a couple days in class to answer any questions and do a little drafting and have some people look at it. Okay, so remember the first thing that you want to do is to, um, you got to choose what you're going to analyze. So you can, remember we uh, a lot of people were looking at symbolism, um, characterization, uh, imagery. Um, you can also take a look at um, the gender roles that play out, the setting, um, irony. So there's all kinds of stuff that you guys can um, explore. So remember, you're only choosing one. Just choose one of these. That's what's going to make a good essay for you. I have posted on Google Classroom photos of the brainstorming that we did over on the cabinets. So if you need help, go to Google Classroom and check out those photos if you didn't take one yourself. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do um, is think about your intro. So in your intro, you need to have a hook. So this is um, getting your audience's attention. And remember, um, we talked about how it's kind of like a funnel. So you start like broad at the top where it's general, and then you move down to the specific. Eek. So the specific is going to be your thesis. So remember in your thesis you want to include the author, the title, and the point that you're making. All right, so let's say that you're going to do something about um, the irony of Mrs. Peters not turning in um, Minnie Foster for having a motive for killing her husband. So you might say something like, um, in her short story, a jury of her peers remember it's a short story so it goes in quotation marks uh, Susan Glassbell uses irony to demonstrate how the women stick together when Mrs. Peters could even add the sheriff's wife refuses to reveal whoops, clues to Mrs. Wright's motive. Yep, it's a big sentence, but then the rest of your essay is going to prove it. Okay, so then you've got your intro. The next thing that you want to do is start the body. So in the body, you should have um, like three, three paragraphs. So point one, point two, and point number three. Whoops, sorry guys, I'm running out of room here. 
Okay, so each point should be essentially a quote sandwich. So you've got a lead in, the quote, and an explanation. Okay, so how do you know that um, this shows that the women are sticking together? What quote are you going to use from the story? How are you going to introduce it? You need to give some context. So what's happening in the story at this point? Then integrate your quote. Remember, you, you don't want a hanging quote. No hanging quotes. Okay, and then your explanation, this should be the longest part. So you really need to explain how this quote supports your thesis. Everything is going back to your thesis. Okay, so point one, point two, point three. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, they all go back to your thesis, okay? So take a look at that handout and see how um, you can integrate a quote, how you can use context, and how you can elaborate. Okay, and then the last thing that you need to have is your, your conclusion. So your conclusion's job is to wrap up your argument that you stated in your thesis. You can um, like ponder like the universal, what? What's the word I'm looking for? Ponder the universal, um, um, gosh kids, ramifications. So maybe something about um, like Mrs. Peters may have realized that she's actually being oppressed when Mr. Henderson says that she's married to the law and maybe that's why she decided not to rat out Minnie Foster. Um, plus we, we learn more about Mrs. Peters having had her kitten um, killed in front of her and how much rage she felt. Um, so you might, might consider pondering the universal ramifications in your conclusion, okay? And it's always good to recycle language that you used previously. So either in your intro or your thesis, okay? All right, so remember that your outline will be due April 6th, okay? So come into class with that ready to go. It's 20 points. I'll meet with each of you so that we can make sure that you're on the right track. Then you'll start drafting and your essay will be due April 12th. So that'll give us April the 8th to make sure everybody's on track, do some feedback and all that good stuff. Okay. All right. So don't forget, go to Google Classroom to look at the picture that we uh, of the brainstorming that we did in class. All right, my friends, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Have a great spring break.